Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Are you ready to start reading the Bible, but you're not quite sure where to start or what to do? That's all right, because in today's video, I'm going to give you seven beginner friendly Bible reading tips that new believers or new readers of the Bible can use to start reading the Bible today. So let's dive into the video. Did you know that there are roughly 450 English translations of the Bible? Well, which one is right for you? Many people swear by the King James Version of the Bible, but in my opinion, that is not the best Bible for someone who is new to reading the Bible. So tip number one is to find the Bible that is right for you. You want to look for a Bible that is easy for you to read and easy for you to understand so that when you open up the word of God and you start reading that you're not confused by what's being said. Some of the most popular Bible translations that I recommend for beginners are the English Standard Version, also known as the ESV, the New International Version, also called the NIV, and the Christian Standard Bible called the CSB. I find that these translations are easy for people to read and they're a lot easier for them to understand. Of course, there are other translations of the Bible and one of the easiest ways to find the translation that's best for you is to download a Bible reading app. Most Bible reading apps have access to all the different translations of the Bible, so you can pick one that's right for you. But I also recommend that you get yourself a physical Bible because when it comes time for you to learn to study the word of God, you're going to want a physical Bible. You can find links to the Bibles that I just mentioned earlier in the description section of the video if you would like to purchase a physical Bible. All right, so now that you've gotten the, the perfect Bible for you, one that is easy for you to read, it's easy for you to understand, we don't want it to become an expensive paperweight. So tip number two is to commit to reading the Bible because if you don't make a commitment to reading it, you're not going to read it. It's just going to sit on your desk. So how often should you read your Bible? You should strive to read your Bible every single day. Romans 12 and one tells us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And one of the ways that we as men and women of God renew our minds is through reading the word of God. So you want to read your Bible daily. Tip number one was to get a Bible that is right for you. Tip number two is to commit to reading your Bible daily. Tip number three is to have a plan. How often are you going to read? How much are you going to read? These are things that you should know before you even sit down to read your Bible. So now that we've made a commitment to read the Bible, we want to figure out what time of the day are you going to read? Are you going to read in the morning? Are you going to read in the evening? Are you going to read during lunchtime? As a mother of four, I find it easier to read in the morning before my kids get up um, because it's quieter in the morning. I have those few moments where I can spend my quiet time with the Lord and read a few chapters of my Bible. Or maybe you're a night owl and it's easier for you to stay up later and read in the evening. Maybe you have time during lunch to sit down and read your, your Bible. So it really depends on you when you read your Bible. but you need to commit to a specific time of day. And then the second part of having a plan is knowing how much time you're going to spend reading your Bible. I recommend starting with maybe just five minutes a day and then working your way up. And so even if right now you can't read for that long, as you begin to read the word of God, you will begin to hunger for it and your time will increase from five minutes to maybe 30 minutes. So pick a time of day, and pick how long you're going to read. Have a plan. And then what are you going to read? And this brings me to tip number four. Did you know that there are 66 books of the Bible? As a new Bible reader, how do you know which book out of the 66 to read? Do you start all the way in the beginning with Genesis? Do you jump open your Bible and just jump straight in the middle and start reading the Psalms and the Proverbs? Do you go into the New Testament and pick one of the gospels. There are so many different options and things for us to read in this Bible. 
For new believers, I always recommend that they start in the New Testament with the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John details the life of Jesus Christ and who Jesus is and Jesus's identity as being the Messiah. And then from there, I would either read the Gospel of Luke or the book of Acts. The Gospel of Luke also details Jesus's life and it flows seamlessly into the book of Acts because the book of Luke and Acts were written by the same author. I recommend the book of Acts to new believers because it details how the early church started, how Christianity began to spread throughout the rest of the world. And so I think that it's important that we as men and women of God understand the history of our faith. My recommendations to you are to start with the book of John and then from there either go to the book of Luke and then read Acts or read the book of John and then read the book of Acts. It's completely up to you. All right, so far we've covered four of our seven tips. If you've been getting value from these tips, hit the like button below, but we're going to go on to our last three tips. So how do you get the most out of reading your Bible? These next three tips will help you move from reading the word of God to actually starting to study and understand the Bible. Tip number five is to interact with your Bible. Invest in a few you know, different colored pens, um, some highlighters, get yourself a journal maybe, and really interact with your Bible. Uh, yes, the Bible is our holy text. It is our scripture, but there's nothing in there that says that you can't write and highlight in your Bible. And what I found this helps with is instead of rushing through to read your Bible, if you take one of your pens and as you're reading, you see something that that stands out to you. And so you stop and you, you highlight it, you underline it. Maybe there's a verse that really resonates with what you read today. Take some time and highlight that verse. Write it down in a journal and keep that verse. Um, you can also take notes in your journal. In my Bible, I have lots of notes written all down the sides and the margin. I have journals that I write in. But Tip number five is to interact with your Bible. It will help you to better understand what you've read. And if you have any questions about anything that you read, you can write them down. Or if you have any like light bulb moments, you can write them down and be able to go back and look at them or go back and research any questions that you had. Tip number six is to read with a partner. What does it mean to belong to a body of believers? It means that you have brothers and sisters in Christ to help you along your Christian journey. And so one of the best things that we can do is to read the Bible in community. Find someone that will help you, that will hold you accountable. Um, you can join you know, a life group or a Bible study group so that you can read along with other people. Um, I am currently in the middle of doing a Bible in a year reading plan that you can follow along with. You can find someone in your church to just partner with you and say, hey, you know, I've committed to reading my Bible every day and I wanted to know if you would join me. And you guys can be each other's accountability partner. You can connect, you know, at the end of the week and discuss something that you highlighted in your Bible, you know, ask questions. Like I said, when you really interact with your Bible and you have questions and things like that, then when you go back to church, you know, maybe y'all have Wednesday, our church has Wednesday night Bible study where we come together and we sit down and we read the Bible and we can ask each other questions. We can ask the pastor questions about anything that we don't understand. So it's a really good way for us to, one, make sure that we are reading our Bibles. And two, it's another way to fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ because the word of God tells us that we are to encourage each other. We are to lift each other up. You know, we're to remind each other about what the word of God says when life gets hard. So read with someone, read in community. You can join the Bible in the year reading plan that I am currently doing here on YouTube, but I really want you to connect with someone that 
you can meet with in person so that you can have that personal one-on-one -on -one connection with each other. All right, and now we are down to our final tip, tip number seven, which I believe is the most important tip. And tip number seven is to pray before you read. Prayer is our direct connection between us and the Father. It is also an essential part of our lives as believers. So remember when you gave your life to Christ, you received the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit now dwells within you. And the word of God says that the Holy Spirit will be our teacher, our comforter, and our guide. So before you read your word, make sure that you pray. When you pray, that helps to invite the Holy Spirit into what you're reading. It invites him to become, be a part of your reading the Bible. And when you pray before you read, it allows the Holy Spirit to really speak to you. It allows your heart to be tender to hear what the voice of God has to say as you are reading the word of God. So before I end this video, I want to pray with you guys really quickly. Father God, I thank you for each and every person that's watched this video. Lord, I thank you that they have a hunger and a thirst and a desire to read your word. Father, we invite the Holy Spirit into their lives and into their Bible readings. Lord, we ask that you would open up our ears and allow us to be sensitive to the voice of God. Open up our hearts to receive the word of God. Lord God, let us be able to receive any correction that you may bring through the word of God as we read the word of God. And Father God, I pray that you will help them to commit to reading daily and that they will just have a hunger and thirst for your word, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that you will bring people in their lives, Lord God, that can help hold them accountable, Lord God, to their Bible reading, Lord God, and that they can grow and fellowship with Lord God, that they can grow in their walk with you together as they journey through the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All right, family, that was it for our seven tips on how to read the Bible for beginners. Let me know in the comments what tip was your favorite tip, and I'll see you all in the next video.